Just this week, the university denounced the latest in a series of messages found in residence halls targeting students for their differences. News 19's Riley Kind spoke with some students on campus today about how they're feeling. Riley? After a number of hate messages have been found in residence halls, university officials say, quote, hateful and disgusting incidents like these will not be tolerated. They have repeatedly made statements condemning these acts, saying these incidents go against their mission and views as a university. Today, I talked with a few students to get their personal reactions. Connor Haggerty is a nursing student at the Turbo and part of the LGBTQ plus community. It's very surreal when you hear this coming from your own university, from your peers. So I was very saddened. It's very much a setback for what we're going for of inclusion of all students, regardless of your background. Danessa Brox is a minority student on campus. She says coming to a predominantly white university had its challenges to begin with. I felt isolated. I felt like I couldn't rely on anyone. I just felt like I couldn't relate to many people as is. So when the messages started, things only escalated. The first hate crime, I was shocked. I felt even more alone. I felt scared. Um, I didn't know what to say. And then more messages continued to happen. At this point, I'm numb to it. Like, I'm tired of talking. I've, I'm tired of talking to faculty. I'm tired of demanding change, but I won't stop. While she understands the university is working to resolve it and may not know what to do, some of her friends are leaving because of the issues. The actions being taken here are not happening quick enough. You know, there's been five hate crimes. How many more do we need before something happens to somebody? Another student, Catherine Wall, says she is hurt, angry, and disappointed by what's been going on. Everyone is doing everything they can to like uplift the students who are harmed by these messages, BIPOC students and LGBTQ plus students, but it's still hard um, knowing that people like that are on campus and while I know Viterbo is doing everything they can to catch them, like as long as they're here, I don't really think anyone feels as safe as they could. Minority student Danessa Brox is actually starting the first black student union on campus. She says everyone is included and her hope is to educate all students on different perspectives. These students say their hope is that change and acceptance for everyone is coming. Working to make that change. Thanks, Riley. And the university says they are working closely right now with the La Crosse Police Department as well as a forensic handwriting analysis analyst uh, to identify the person or people who may be involved in these incidents.